Well, hello, and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to be looking at BART PE. This is a very fun uh, utility that can be used to create a live Windows CD to be used as a rescue CD. This actually is a pretty fun project that I have my students do. Uh, it teaches you a lot about what needs to go into a rescue CD and what are some of the problems and tools we need to fix Windows. If Windows isn't even starting, uh, how do you recover it? Uh, if you have files, uh, very valuable files on Windows, and you can't you can't recover them or you can't get to them because Windows won't start, uh, you can use a rescue CD to quickly and easily recover those files. And we'll be talking more about that. Let's get started. Uh, before we do, I want to refer you to ComputerRepairTrainingPlus.com. This is a website we've set up that has some additional information and resources that you might find useful. Let's get going. BART PE, Rescue CD. Again, a Rescue CD can be used to retrieve files and data on a non-functioning Windows. Uh, you can remove malware and viruses. Oftentimes malware and viruses will disable your antivirus program. So the only way you can remove these is using some kind of a Rescue CD. And a Rescue CD is an operating system that runs on a CD independent of your computer, independent of your hard drive. So by running the Rescue CD, you now have con complete control of your hardware, and it's independent of your hard drive. So if your hard drive has a virus or malware that you can't remove, you can use the Rescue CD and an antivirus program on that CD to remove the virus. Uh, you can use it also to repair Windows Registry. Registry gets uh, corrupted uh, very easily and we can use this rescue CD to correct that. Also we can re completely restore Windows using imaging software and there's lots of different imaging software available. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Custom rescue CD. What's nice about the BART PE is we can add a lot of different applications, files, utilities to the BART CD to customize it uh, to make it a tool uh, that uh, we have created and with purposes in mind. Uh, before you actually burn the CD, we can create an ISO file. An ISO file is nothing more than all the files on that CD uh, all put together as one file. That one file can be run in VMware or the free uh, Microsoft Virtual PC. So by doing this, we can test to see if this rescue CD is going to meet all our needs and is working properly before we go and burn a CD. Otherwise you can be burning a lot of CDs and wasting CDs. So this can help us a lot to create a testing environment for it. Uh, the, the things you're going to need in order to create BART PE is you're going to need BE, uh, PE Builder. Uh, the latest is the 3110A and you can get that at BART's uh, website nu2.nu .nu, uh, slash PE Builder. And you can download that. Also, you'll find a lot of other information up there that Bart's put there, uh, other uh, plugins and other resources that uh, are are pretty valuable. Also, you're going to need the i386 Windows install files. These can be found on a Windows install disk. And also, if you don't have the Windows install disk, this folder oftentimes is located on your computer. So if you look in Windows or you do a search, just search for the i386 folder. You'll need that because uh, PE Builder uses those files to create this uh, live Windows uh, operating system. Uh, once you get uh, PE downloaded and uh, started, the first screen you'll come up to is this. Uh, the first uh, uh, little box here that you need to go ahead and, and uh, use is to find your i386 folder. Now what we've done is we've taken the uh, installed files and we've created a folder called XPCD and we've just copied all those files to XPCD which includes the i 36 folder. So by pointing to that, Bart can now find those files in order to start the build process. You can also include files and folders uh, in this box here if there's other files and folders that you would like to add to the CD. Now the output is going to be BART PE and it's going to be an ISO file so it's going to have that ISO extension. Now in the media output you can create the ISO and then you can also burn that ISO to a CD but we're not going to check this because we're going to use our virtual PC uh, or VMware to do testing before we take the time and burn the CD. The next uh, tab or next button you want to press is this plugin. 
So go ahead and press that and you'll see that there's a lot of plugins that are available for the BART PE. And uh, these plugins give you additional functionality, utilities, or applications that you can run in this environment. You also have some buttons down here, enable, disable each one of those plugins, and also some configuring and uh, help. So uh, it'll take some time to get familiar with BART PE, but it's a great little program to learn uh, and to create CDs from. You'll, you'll learn a lot working with this. This is a good uh, project for my students because it'll actually teach them quite a bit. Uh, once you get this uh, started and you get it built, uh, just go ahead and close out of this. You'll go back to here and you'll hit this build button. Build button will take you through the process and it takes just a few minutes and it'll create that ISO. When you get that ISO running in your VMware, the first screen you'll see for the BART PE is this. This is your desktop. It has a little go button down here and that's all you have on the desktop. So you press the go button and you'll see some uh, menus that pop up here. Uh, program system. There's quite a few uh, plugins on this one. We've got Clamware, Antivirus, McGaffey Stinger, Antivirus, uh, Angry IP Scanner. These are just different plugins that uh, you can add uh, to the BART PE. There's a plugin folder in the BART PE folder, and all you do is you take these plugins and just drop them in uh, to that plugin folder. Uh, adding plugins. Uh, two plugins that you need to add to really change the desktop to make it a little look a little bit more like Windows is this uh, Sherpy uh, plugin, the XPE uh, version 107, and the NU2 XPE uh, 1.5. These two plugins can be found at the sourceforge.net, and once you add these uh, to that plugins folder and do another build, you get this. Now this looks a little bit more like Windows. You've got some desktop icons, My Computer, which is familiar, uh, My Network Places, Internet Explorer can be run in this environment. And then you also have a Start button down here. Press the Start button, and you'll see that uh, it's very similar to Windows XP. And you have your programs, and there's lots of different uh, plugins, again, that you can add to this and make it very, very functional. Even the background here, the, the wallpaper has been changed. So there's lots of different configurations that you can use to make this a very useful uh, Rescue CD, a tool that you'll use quite a bit. Uh, Rescue CD, a large number of plugins available. Just Google it on the internet, BART PE plugins, you'll find lots of resources. Uh, there is one company that has this program here, Drive Image uh, XML. Similar to Ghost, you can actually create an image uh, using the uh, shadowing uh, technology built into Microsoft to actually create an image uh, while the, uh, Windows is running. Uh, the only problem is you can't restore it while it's running, but you can use this BART uh, PECD, this rescue disk, to restore your Windows in case it uh, needs to be restored using this this nice little tool. Uh, another one is this Ultimate Boot CD for Windows. This can be found uh, Googling too. And this is a complete uh, distribution that has a lot of these plugins already built in. Uh, very nice. Uh, again, uh, this is a valuable tool that I would suggest that you get familiar with and use. It's a good project. You spend quite a bit of time. It can be a little challenging, but it's fun. I want to thank you very much for your time. I hope you find this useful.